Amazon bought a nuclear power company recently. And everybody always thinks that nuclear is basically unlimited energy, but there's still a cost to producing that. Who cares about the safety of that nuclear power plant in Nebraska? Nobody lives there anyways. My, my dad used to be what was called a nuclear firefighter. He's twice pulled nuclear weapons out of aircraft that were on fire. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. We're talking about electric vehicles, green energy, and the stock markets today. I'm proud to say I have engineer Mike Herzog with me. How's it going, Mike? Great, David. It's a beautiful sunny day out there. Oh, yeah. You know, it's funny. Sometimes it seems like we're heading into summer, and sometimes it's like, oh, I guess it was just uh, faking us out. So anyways, we don't have an Amazon Web Services facility here in Nebraska, do we? I don't think so. I don't think so. We got we got every other data center, but I don't think we have an Amazon, right? Okay, you, you know, Amazon bought a nuclear power company recently, and you know, people talk about oh, EVs are going to stress the grid. It's AI, AI, and I've heard Musk talk about it, I've heard Zuckerberg talk about it. All of these data centers use more energy than cars ever will, and so they're trying to come up with solutions for powering these data centers. Even if you bring in tremendous amounts of green energy. There's going to be requirements for more computing power. There's always going to be a market for that energy. And so every time they put in one of these data centers at the same time, they're also trying to put in some type of solar farm that they can either sell the power to offset or wind to offset what they're doing. And now they're also doing nuclear. So I'm hoping some of that will drive more investment into nuclear because there, there's, there's talk about making little micro reactors, other things. I know we've discussed before the why the nuclear power plant in Nebraska, which is the sm smallest one in the country, right? It was the smallest one in the country. was the smallest in the country, why it closed down. And it's simply renewables are actually cheaper to produce than nuclear. And everybody always thinks that nuclear is basically unlimited energy, but there's still a cost to producing that. And it's, a, it's such a high overhead because of all the safety you have to put into it and you, you can buy a, a piece of equipment, you can buy a widget that goes into a normal power plant, um, but if you have to put it in a nuclear power plant, it goes through so much more testing and gets a certified stamp, and I mean, it doubles and triples the cost of those items, just just to put them in that. What, rightfully so, right? I, I want safe operation of our nuclear plants, but it's on the same hand, it's just it just kills the competitiveness. Who cares about the safety of that nuclear power plant in Nebraska? Nobody lives there anyways. <laughs> I, I've, I've watched The Simpsons for years, right? I've seen I've seen Homer Simpson and his his nuclear power safety gum used to seal crack in cooling tower. <laughs> I'm as shocked as you are. Plutonium rod used as paperweight. No, oh, now that shouldn't be. No, no, that's that, that that's not the case. I mean, they're very, very to a fault. Str you know, stringent and go through it, and you have a backup to the backup to the backup, and and you know that's that's one of the main reasons we haven't had issues with nuclear plants because of that attention paid to it. My my dad used to be what was called a nuclear firefighter. He was trained on how to extract nuclear bombs from damaged aircraft. He's twice pulled nuclear. I don't know. I'm sorry. Three times he pulled nuclear weapons out of aircraft that were on fire. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's kind of like that thing with the bomb squad. You know, the great thing about being in the bomb squad, I've heard a guy say, there's no stress in being in the bomb squad. I, I go, either it works or you don't know. <laughs> 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 You're just gone. But, it, but it's really frightening to think about that there were all these plane crashes that never, never did one accidentally go off. It, apparently a fire just isn't enough to set one off, but, you know, they, they would extract them. But that's, uh, you know, one of the dangers. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.